How's it going, DocHound fans? Dominic Stern here, introducing our players slowly for this upcoming season in the 2023 summer. We've got Connor Fisk, right handed pitcher, uh, formerly with the Toronto Blue Jays. And Connor, how are you doing? You're a Wisconsin native. How excited are you to be representing the Lake Country DocHounds this season? Uh, doing well. I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's going to be cool to be a player for the hometown team here. Uh, something I haven't done in my career is really play. I think I played, I have I had one short series playing with the lug nuts through Wisconsin, but I never actually pitched in Wisconsin. So it'd be pretty cool to play, play at home for all the people that I know to come see. You're from Milwaukee, born and raised. You're not too far away from Lake Country in Oconomowoc. How familiar are you with the area and how excited are you to make that your home this summer? <laughs> I know I know it a little bit. Um, last time I was there, it was, uh, it was a long night, so I don't remember much. But I've been out there a few times, but kind of where it is but not really not really that too familiar with. I, I know the east coast or the east side like by the lake very well that's where I'm from the Milwaukee area but Oconomowoc is not not a place I ventured out too much but I've heard uh, heard a lot of good things and for you you underwent Tommy John surgery uh, in 2021 how's that recovery process been for you are you going to be full ramped up and uh, ready for the season when we hit the ground running in May it's been it's been a long road so I had it uh, I had surgery in August of 21. Um, so I, I, play, I when I played the Rockies, I had one, I threw one inning and I blew out. So uh, it was a long, it's been a long road. So August twenty one to where, where are we? I think I'm nineteen months. It'll be nineteen months here soon, or just over nineteen months. So uh, ramping up, I'm feeling ready to go. So excited to start playing. It's a it's a long recovery process, as all baseball fans know. It's very rigorous for mm-hmm. any pitcher. Uh, uh, what what has kept you going through that process of getting back to playing professional baseball? Uh, just the ability to play again. Um, you know, with the last three years, we've had some crazy years here. I missed the COVID year. I wasn't able to play. I didn't make the 16-man roster with the Jays. Um, and then during that year, uh, the COVID year, my contract ran out, so I became a free agent. I, you know, I worked. I trained hard, uh, signed with the Rockies. And then, like I said before, I blew out my first inning. Unfortunately, uh, the elbow went, and then I've been rehabbing ever ever since. So it's uh, the normal process is 12, 12 months, I think. Um, but with uh, the timeline of my surgery, I, I well, there was no way I was going to play that last year. It was like three weeks, I think, what I had. So I decided to just, uh, you know, kind of just go with the 18-month kind of program, uh, get ready to uh, – get 18-month program and get ready to throw. And you mentioned it. You were on that roster with the Blue Jays. You've been playing in AAA. Uh, at least that was the last time when you were at the minors. You, you, you've gotten really close to getting to the major leagues, which is, of course – just about every kid's dream when they step on the diamond. Uh, What are you hoping to accomplish for the Lake Country Dockhounds this season and uh, still obviously pursuing that dream of getting to the major leagues? Yeah, just a pitch, uh, give give us a chance to win. I know we're second year with the team. Um, Last year, inaugural season, you know, there's bumps in the roads, learning curves and all that. So I just want to go out there and uh, give the best I can, help us win, help us make a postseason. And then if I get picked up along the way, that'd be great for my career and stuff. uh, give uh, give the Dockhounds fans something to cheer for every time I go out. Yeah, what would you say is the strength of yours as a pitcher? Is it your fastball, or do you got to go to off speed pitch? Uh, I've I have good off speed. Uh, fastball, I would say, is pretty average. I'm just you know just uh, just an average righty. Uh, nothing nothing special. I'm not gonna run up to 98 miles an hour. Um, but through the course of the year and like being a kind of like I say a veteran now, uh, 30 years old, I just know how to pitch. You know, just the feel of uh, you know when to throw pitches, uh, how to set guys up, and then and go from there, just the flow of the game. And we talked about it. You're you're from Wisconsin. You got the hat with the was uh, with the Wisconsin outline on it. Did you grow up a yeah. Brewers fan? And who was your favorite player growing up? Uh, I did. I did. I grew, up, I grew up a Brewers fan, and it was pretty cool for me. I was drafted by the Brewers at a high school, um, so that was a pretty cool experience. Unfortunately, the uh, the offer wasn't you know, getting off the turn down four years of college. Um, so I, I, I ended up going to Wabash Valley out of high school, but uh, growing up, it was a Ben Sheets is my favorite player. So he was a pitcher for the Brewers back in the day. And it was something like, you know, you're a young kid. I was like, you know, as a young kid, young, young teen, you don't really want to go to work every day. Right. Like your parents mm-hmm. do. And I found out being a pitcher, I could work once every five days. I was like, I want that job. Yeah. Uh, turn, turns out it doesn't really work out that way. Actually you work probably more. You just still, you still work every day, but, uh, at a four as as fourteen years old, uh, looking up the bench, she's like, oh, I want that job. Once every five days, give me that job. 
I was looking on your Instagram and you've been a, a pitching coach and you've been uh, helping train some younger players. Uh, what's that process been like and how cool has it been to help out some younger players get better at pitching? Uh, it's been awesome. It's definitely a very rewarding process. Uh, you know, like as a minor leaguer, like you don't get, you know, minor leaguers don't get paid out throughout the years. I had to find a job in Alaska, and I started coaching. Started just giving lessons here and there. And then during my rehab process, obviously I had no job at all. So I had to resort to coaching, which was uh, definitely a transformative process. It really helped me get through my my rehab. I was able to work with kids. Uh, and some kids, uh, I even too had a time job before where they were going through it. So I was able to help them through the process and then just help kids become the best it could be for their seasons. You know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool experience to work with all ages of kids, whether they're nine years old to 17 and just help them, help them with their journey and help them achieve their dreams of going to college or the next level. As a coach who's still playing or at the time you're, you're trying to get back while you're rehabbing, do you think it's helped you out uh, while you're pitching to, you know, think of it as like a coach or you think more mechanically now when you're out there on the mound or when you're out, uh, stretching and, and rehabbing and whatnot? Yeah, it's definitely a different insight. When you go going into coaching, um, you have to te- you know, teach the kids the game. And so you look at a different perspective as as playing. And normally playing, I try not to think too much about it, but the coaching aspect with the mechanics and stuff and working with my trainers during my rehab process definitely helped me to, you know, revamp my mechanics, which I also, I think I posted that on my Instagram. You get people can go look, at, look and ch- see that. It helped me change my mechanics for the better um, as well as well as I think the more mental side, if anything, is going to help me with. Uh, when you're out there, you don't really want to be thinking too much about mechanics, but just like I said earlier, how like, I, was always, I, was a, I was always a good pitcher. I was always I was a good hit spots, mix feeds, set guys up, but definitely just that mental edge of like knowing, like, you know, being through the counts, being through the situations and knowing I've been there and done that before and then being able to just replay that over in your head, just that mental imagery, I think, uh, which I've had a lot of the last 18 months, uh, has definitely helped. Is definitely helped. I think will definitely help me this season. I tell you what, Connor, I'm, I'm sure Dachau fans are going to love the fact that they basically have a coach out there on the mound. Uh, is there anything else you want to let the Dachauans know about you before the season gets underway in just under two months now? I think we're gonna, we have a good team this year. Uh, from right here, I know uh, pitching coach Paul Wagner pretty well. Uh, I've talked with Tom before, Tom, Tom a little bit too. I hear we have a good team, so coming out and cheer us on. There you go, Connor Fisk, right-handed pitcher for your Lake Country Dachauans. Can't wait to see you out there on the mound and uh, over on the walk.